2017 Leaving Cert Higher Level Paper 2 question to Part A is calculator use, the correlation coefficient. If you haven't practiced this on your calculators, there are no excuses really for not practicing all these statistics and questions on your calculator because calculator use, it's giveaway marks when you know how to do it. I'm using a sharp ELW531. So I press mode, stat one for line. So I'm gonna put in two variables and then 40 first term and then I press XY and then I press 21 and then I press change and it comes up data set point one and I put in my seven data points and then I press the green button alpha and then I, I look for or which is correlation coefficient that's above the divide symbol and this is giving me a correlation coefficient of minus 0.95657 And it says three decimal places, so minus 0 0.957. Correct the three DP. So on part B, you're asked to plot the points on the grid below and draw the line of best fit by eye. So 40, 21 was the first one. Down here, 48, 16. Possibly here, 56, 18. Here, sixty four, sixteen, eighty eight, thirteen. Let's jump from sixty four to eighty eight, eighty eight, thirteen. Go here, ninety six, eleven. Go below that. 9611, 112, 9. And draw the line of best fit by eye. Well, we have the data in our calculator. The line of best fit, normally what we do for line of best fit is we put the X average and the Y average as the point in the middle, somewhere, it'll be in the middle somewhere. And then we draw our line through that with equal amount of points either side. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna X, X so just, might be you can you can see the x bar on your calculator so x with a line across the top in this case is 72 and y bar is 18.56 so 72 18.56 72 is approximately here so let's try and draw the line of best fit
So in part C, you're asked, you're told the slope of line of best fit is found to be 0 0.15 minus 0 0.15. What does this represent in the context of the data? Well, we can see here, when we're going around 40 kilometers an hour, we get approximately 21, I think it was 21 kilometers per liter of fuel. And if we go really fast, if we're going up at this speed of 112, we're only getting, what was it, nine? Nine liters, nine kilometers per liter. So we're, as speed increases, as speed increases, we can say that C R E A S E S. We could say that fuel consumption decreases. And we could say that it decreases every liter of fuel it decreases by not the slope is 0 0.15 so a speed increases by one kilometer by one kilometer an hour fuel consumption that 0 0.15 fuel consumption decreases by 0.15 kilometers per liter of fuel something like this we'll get you the marks in part d we're told that mary drove from cork to dublin at an average speed of 96 kilometers an hour jane drove the same journey at 112 kilometers an hour each traveled 260 kilometers and paid 132.9 cents per liter of fuel how much longer so we're looking at time here and your dft triangle your distance speed time triangle time is equal to distance over speed so we're looking at 260 over 96 and we're looking at 260 over 112 and the difference between these two things 260 over 96 is 2.7083 so 2.71 we'll round it off and that's in hours and 260 divided by 112 is 2.32 hours so 2.71 minus 2.32 is equal to 0.3885 0.389 say and that's going to be in that's going to be an hour so multiply it by 60 to get minutes we're going to get 23 23 minutes 23 just slightly over 23 23 minutes to the nearest minute how much more did jane spend on fuel well she was going what was her fuel consumption she's traveling at 112 Fuel consumption was nine, wasn't it? Nine. And uh, traveling at 96, fuel consumption is 11. So they're both traveling 260. She's getting, Jane is getting nine liters or nine kilometers per liter. And the cost is 1.329. And Mary is getting 11 kilometers per liter of fuel. And she's paying the same for the fuel. So let's just calculate our use really this one, typing this in. We get six euros and 98 cents. 